guys, Vix here bringing you a Legion gold farming video. And in this video, we're not going to talk about gold farming, but we are going to talk about a way to make gold using the new launch of 7.3. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit, not too much, I'm not going to go into depth, but I'm just to show you guys a quick way uh, to first utilize TSM and then second, we're going to talk about playing the auction house. Now, I don't do a lot of playing the auction house, but um, other people do. Like big gold farmers, if you ask them like how they make, or not big gold farmers, but people that have a lot of gold, if you ask them, hey, how how did you get so much gold? They're, most of them will probably tell you, oh, playing the auction house. So I'm going to give you guys a little insider uh, tip on what playing the auction house actually means. Now, I use uh, TSM to set everything up. Uh, the patch just went live, so add-ons are a little wonky right now, but just kind of bear with me a little bit. Um, if you have other add-ons, I'm sure Auctionator or Auctioneer or something like that, I'm sure they have similar features uh, to show you guys a little bit about uh, what I'm going to show you. But uh, let's show you guys. Um, earlier, if you saw my video, I have been farming... Uh, the light weave cloth. If you've not checked out that video, I will link it in the comments or maybe somewhere on the screen. But definitely check out that video um, to show how I've been uh, farming light weave cloth. Now, um, so we're gonna go up to the auction house, and um, if you don't have TSM, this is what your screen's gonna look like. If you have TSM, you're gonna have these little things down here. I am not a TSM expert. If you want to know everything there is to know about TSM, you can check out videos by uh, Zeronic and Shara. Um, Umran has videos. There are plenty of uh, YouTubers and streamers that, that you know can teach you about TSM. I know minimal about TSM. I know enough to be able to utilize it as a helpful tool. And really the only thing I use it for is whenever I hover it over to, to know what the auction house prices are. But anyways, so we're going to go to the shopping tab and we're just going to hit up Lightweave Cloth. And it's going to scan all of the pages of Lightweave Cloth. As you can see, there's 25 pages. There's a lot of Lightweave Cloth on the auction house. The farm that I just uploaded, I mean, it's going, like, I'm not the only person to do it. It's literally going viral. So you can see this here. Uh, TSM sets it up. You see all of this blue right here, and then you see all of this red here. And then you've got some orange, and then usually if you had something between like here and here, you would see some like yellow. Uh, when the patch first went live, Lightweave Cloth was going for 700 gold a piece. And then it kind of like fell off a little bit, uh, and then was going for like two to 300 gold a piece. But all of this uh, blue is people basically not knowing the price of it and undercutting the hell out of everybody so if you have a ton of gold you can basically go in and either buy all of this blue stuff or buy 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 all of the blue stuff up until a point like you can see like between this one and this one you're looking at what over 20 gold so you can pretty much buy out all of this and then relist it for this price and that's basically all playing the auction house is it's buying other people's lower items because they have no idea how to use the auction house and how to set prices and then reposting it for a higher value like honestly you could probably buy all of this up until like mm -hmm. this point and still make a pretty good profit um just from uh buying like with cloth and you don't have to do that with just cloth like um you can flip, this is Astral Glory, that's the new um, herb that's out, that's another good one to flip. Uh, you can try flipping like old world mats, like Fell Slate, you can flip um, the new ore, the Imperium ore. It, it basically, it does take a little bit of, of knowledge of your markets. Um, but like you can see Imperium ore has like tanked in price and you can see you see all the yellow 
100% is usually what it was going for on about an average. You can see like most people averaging were spending 65 gold a piece on it. Now it's like 40 gold a piece. You can probably buy all of that out and resell it. So that's pretty much it as far as um, using TSM to know what to, to buy. Pretty much you want to buy anything that's blue and sell it for the yellow price. Or, you know, the blue means it's like really, 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 really low and you should buy it. So it goes blue and then it's green, um, then yellow, and then you want to stay away from orange and definitely stay away from red. Red means it's over, way overpriced. Orange means it's pretty overpriced. Yellow is that sweet spot for which stuff stalls for. Green stuff is okay, but you make your most buying the blue stuff because this is the lowest part of the market value. So that means that stuff is way underpriced. You should buy all of it and relist it, and I guarantee you most of the stuff is going to sell for the higher price. So that's just a quick video uh, showing you guys how to use TSM to play the auction house. Uh, if you guys have any questions about it or any further comments, you can just shoot me down a comment in the comment box. If you found this video helpful, leave me a thumbs up uh, and definitely subscribe because more videos are coming your way. Thanks for watching.